Hello, you're listening to Coronavirus Updates on The Wire. In today's video, you will meet a water policy analyst, Nitya Jacob. In an article for The Wire Science last week, Jacob makes a case for testing sewage water of our cities, towns and villages for the novel coronavirus. It may sound like a new, even strange idea, but it is absolutely not. Jacob describes that for several decades now, Waste Water-Based Epidemiology, or WBE, has been in use to surveil diseases and drugs in the natural environment. Wastewater-based epidemiology, or WBE, has a fairly long history. It has been used over the last several decades uh, by health authorities to track the incidence of polio. The assumption is that polio patients shed the virus in the stools. And it is the same assumption that has been found to hold true for COVID patients. Uh, other SARS viruses have been found in the stools of patients of SARS epidemics and tests from February onwards this year have indicated that the virus is now present in the stools of patients. And in fact, it is a far more sensitive way of ascertaining the occurrence of COVID in a population. People start shedding the virus in about three days or four days after they're infected and continue shedding the virus for about four weeks in their stools. So if sewage is tested and the virus is found, it can be safely assumed that somebody in that catchment area of the sewage uh, from where we've tested the sewage has the coronavirus. Since February this year, Jacob notes that WBE is being used to detect COVID-19 in different parts of the world. Paris is one such city which started testing sewage water even when positive cases in the city were low. Despite low cases, high concentrations of the virus was detected in sewage water in Paris. In April, Australia's National Science Agency reported that the virus had been detected in two wastewater catchments in southeast Queensland. Jacob believes that wastewater-based epidemiology is a sensitive way to predict the pandemic and is cheaper than individual testing. Now, the advantage of using WBE or testing sewage for COVID is that from one point, you can collect sewage and if the virus is found, you can safely assume that there is someone in that sewer shed, sewer shed who has the coronavirus. To make it meaningful, it doesn't make sense to test from sewage treatment plants, but from smaller geographic areas such as a ward or even smaller than that. But is India testing its sewers? A first-of-its-kind initiative was started in Chennai and in many other cities of India. In May this year, the Chennai Metro Water conducted a preliminary study. In the study, they detected traces of the virus in wastewater. However, a few weeks later, ICMR reportedly stopped the study. In spite of multiple organizations having done sewage testing and having found the COVID virus, the coronavirus in uh, sewage water in this country. There's been examples from Chennai, Ahmedabad, Jaipur, Bangalore, and Bombay, Mumbai. And while it seems that the authorities have developed a protocol, it is still awaiting cabinet clearance before it can be rolled out. Testing sewage will, without a doubt, lead to a major jump in prevalence rates of the infection in the country. And this may explain why the Indian administration and authorities are not willing to test wastewater for COVID-19. The apprehension is that should this testing be taken up at large scale, it will be extremely difficult to control the narrative because it is likely that the number of people who've been infected by the virus or exposed to the virus is going to be much, much higher than what has been found through individual tests. But can you contract COVID-19 from sewage water? Jacob says no. He says that we cannot contract COVID infections from sewage, the toilet or sewage treatment plants unless people we share our toilets with are infected with the virus. Having said that, he also says that it is recommended that people working with sewage treatment plants and near sewage systems use protective equipment. 
In the subsequent videos, we will hope to bring more information on how wastewater can be tested for COVID-19. Until then, keep reading the wire and the wire signs. If you like what you watched, support independent journalism and donate to the wire by clicking on the link in the description. Thank you for tuning in. Stay safe.